First from the night team, Sky 12 capturing the dramatic ending to a police chase that spanned across the valley today. The driver finally stopped in his tracks after Phoenix police deployed a grappler that wrapped around the silver sedan's back tire. This entire thing started earlier in the afternoon at Cave Creek and Deer Valley Roads in North Phoenix. Police say the driver was passed out, parked in the roadway. As they approached, officers noticed weapons and possibly drugs in the car. They say the driver then woke up rammed his car into police cruisers, then took off. They finally captured him at 48th Street and I-10 in Phoenix after a pursuit that covered a huge part of the valley right during the evening rush. And that's where Team 12's Mitch Carr is live for us tonight. Mitch. Good evening, Mark and Rachel. This intersection behind me has returned to normal since this police pursuit ended just before 4.30 this afternoon. Nobody was seriously injured in this incident. The suspect was taken into custody, and the lack of major injury in this is partially due to one Valley man's invention. We pick up the chase after the driver has already made his way to the East Valley. Sky 12 shows the silver sedan on the Loop 202 near Alma School in Mesa. He drove erratically at times, entering and exiting the freeway. He eventually began heading back toward Phoenix during rush hour, exiting the 202 at 24th Street. That's where the driver began taking side streets and drove into neighborhoods just north of McDowell Road. Luckily, no pedestrians or other drivers were hit as he sped through those areas, eventually getting back onto the southbound 51 and then onto I-10 past Sky Harbor Airport and exiting near the Broadway curve. And here's how the whole thing ended. The driver approaches 48th Street near Broadway and the I-10. Watch as police use the grappler on the car. The device immobilizes the back tires and the suspect is no longer able to drive on. Police would fire beanbags at the vehicle. The driver raising his arms through the sunroof, a police canine used, and the suspect pulled from the driver's side of the car onto the ground where he was handcuffed. So where did Phoenix police get the grappler? Well, Leonard Stock invented it. But yeah, that was that was just the textbook grapple right there. Stock said he watched enough high-speed car chases and got to thinking there had to be a better way to safely stop a speeding suspect. The grappler allows police officers to stop a vehicle on their terms. The device deploys from the front bumper of a police car. The crisscrossed straps wrap around a fleeing vehicle's back axle and stop it cold. So it just gives police officers uh, a chance to uh, pr really to prevent somebody from getting killed or injured. Since being put in the field in late 2018, the grappler has been used more than 400 times by law enforcement all over the country, according to Stock. Stock says Friday was the first grapple ever caught on live TV, and he believes after people see this video, it will not be the last. Police departments are talking. We are just hammered with business. Now, we can't say at this time that no one was injured at all uh, during this police pursuit. Team 12's Adriana Loya was here earlier today. She saw the suspect being arrested. She said he was limping when he was pulled up to his feet after police had arrested him on the ground and that he was taken away in an ambulance. But we do know that out of all of the people involved in this pursuit today, he was the only one that potentially suffered any bit of harm as a result of this police pursuit. Live in Tempe, Mitch Carr, 12 News at 10.